Hello, hello, welcome to Hajotech. This channel is dedicated to teaching young programmers how to write programs step by step from scratch. And also, we teach basic IT skills and other creative ideas on this channel. Remember, you need to subscribe in order to get updates anytime we are uploading new videos. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how you can create something like this. Okay, so what we are going to do is that we are creating a thumbnail for a YouTube video. So to do that, I'm going to start from scratch. I have my Photoshop. I'm going to, for the purpose of this, we are using Photoshop. You can easily do the Corel Draw or other photo editing stuff. So you can use the one that you are familiar with. I'm going to use Photoshop. So I'll go to File Menu, go to New, and then I need to set the background size of my thumbnail. I'm going to set my width to be what nine twenty, and then I'll set my what height to be what eight ten eighty. Okay, that is what I'm going to do, and I want my background to be white and then the color mode should be rgb okay and i'll just hit create from here and i'll have my words my background the next thing i'm going to do is to drag the image assuming i want to use any image on my background I'll just go to go and drag it using the what the move tool over here drag it to my background okay so i'm having this here it's too large i have to resize so i can drag around it and when i get to the edge i'll just drag inside in order to reduce the size Assume you have image which is small and it fits to the background. You just you can just go ahead and then use it that way. But my image is bigger than what the background. That's why I'm trying to resize this. I want to do it in a way that it will be big enough for my tutorial. Okay, so I think this is okay for my background. So I'll go ahead and then start typing whatever I want. Remember, if you want to type anything in Photoshop, you have to use the type to which is here within your two your two session. You can hit T. On your keyboard in order to activate the type tool so you notice i've already activated my typing tool anywhere i want to type i can just click over there and i can go ahead and start typing so i want to see how to learn photoshop in five minutes assuming that is a video i'm doing and i want to create a thumbnail so i'll just go ahead and see how to i want to make this type this in separately in order for me to be able to edit so i just want to drag this if I drag outside, I will actually enlarge it. So I'll say how to. So I'm going to say I want to create a background for this. So I'll go here, select a rectangle, draw a nice background like this. Okay, so this is the default color over here. I can change it to something. I prefer black for this. And then in our layer section, we can reorder this. I will drag my background below what uh, the how. And then I prefer to use a white. So I'll select click using the type to click and then activate it select by dragging across and then change the color towards white immediately you select color you have your eyedropper to active so i select here to pick the white color okay so we want to say how to what learn photoshop so i want to say to learn i have to type this next to this so to and then what i'm typing is white so you may not see it clearly Control a will select everything i'll change the color to something like can see so let me see black okay so i have to go back use my move to reposition this okay i want to give another background for this go back here select your rectangle drag across this time around, i would like to use something like let me see let me use a red color so i can give a lot of attention so i will use my move to come to my layer section and then reorder this and bring it below what my length okay so i'll say let me just do this in curves okay how to learn and I'll change the background to white as well. Okay, that's easy as that. So I just want to resize this. Oh, sorry. I want to resize this, and I think the size is okay. If you are not getting the layer showing over, just go to Windows and then make sure what your layer is checked over here. Then to appear over, here, you can see your layer and can reorder everything. So how to learn Photoshop? So I want to write Photoshop. So my attention is going to be on Photoshop. So let's say I want Photoshop. I'm typing. You can see because I'm using a white, so I have to change it to something. Else. So then this is what. All right. Let me put. Let me make my spelling right. Okay. So the purpose is Photoshop. I want to learn Photoshop in what one in five minutes. Sorry. So that the last thing I'm going to type is what. I want to bring what in five minutes so in five minutes okay but i'm going to put this down here so i can just break it down here like this okay let me cut this control 
X will cut and I want to paste it again. I want it to be on a separate layer. Okay, so I'll paste it back here uh -huh. and then I'll change my menu to capital M and I'll reposition this as easy or as simple as that. We are learning Photoshop in five minutes. Okay, so let's say this attention. We want to give some attention to the five minutes. So let me just give it a simple background. I'll, or I'll give it a layer like this. So we want to learn Photoshop in five minutes. I'll give it a white background color. Let me bring it below the five and then change the color to white. Okay. So I'm going to change, select the color and then select white. Okay, over here. I think my red is becoming too much. And over here, let me just also give it a background to the five minutes. I want to use the black color again. Let me just select black from here and i'll drag it down a bit i also move this like i use the down arrow to reposition it drag this down and also drag this down my red on top of black is not the best so let me just change it to white by selecting going here and then what changing it to what white okay so maybe with a photoshop also selected i can also give it another nice background color by dragging across this way and I can also give it a black background color so this is all depends on how you want your design to look like so I have to bring below Photoshop and I can easily change this to white as well okay so we are trying to create a very simple and unique background or thumbnail for our YouTube video it's something that will catch attention will make your user knows what you are talking about it will even prompt your user to click on your videos so that's what i'm going to do so i've actually created a simple but unique word thumbnail for my youtube video so how to learn photoshop in five minutes we've created our background if you decide to do some fading to this you can equally do that but i think i'm okay with this thumbnail is that a simple thumbnail to when you are done what you need to do is to go to file go to save as and then you can save this so let's see how to then this is okay and then i can i need to save it into what jpeg a picture format let me locate my folders where i have my thumbnails and save them over there. so i have what we call uh i have my youtube video folder i select that and then i save this what as what jpeg Remember, you need to subscribe to this channel in order to know how to create so many amazing stuff using Photoshop, Adobe Premiere After Effects, and then the rest. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Bye.